Some of the area has been blocked off for the sake of this tour. I'm right over here when you're ready to proceed. When you're ready, let's look at the matchmaking terminal. You're doing great! The matchmaking terminal lets you play games against other users. It also allows you to start private matches with friends. Why don't we run through a training simulation, help prepare you for your first match? When you're ready, press the Simulations button to start the simulation. Loading simulation now. Movement locked. Welcome to the Beginner's Arena simulation. Here, you will learn the rules for Echo Arena and all the core skills you need to compete. This is the team spawn room, where you and your team begin each round. When the round starts, you and your teammates can enter into the main arena by grabbing a catapult and launching yourself out of the launch tube. Make your way up to the topmost launch tube. Movement unlocked. Remember, you can grab the side rails on your pod to exit. When you're ready, head into the launch tube near me. Make your way up to head inside and grab the catapult ring anywhere. Be sure not to let go. Keep holding onto the catapult. When the timer hits zero, a launch icon will appear. Using your other hand, touch the icon to launch forward. Nice launch! Welcome to Echo Arena! Take some time to acquaint yourself with the play area, and then meet me on the opposing team side. Meet me here when you're ready. Well done! Please press the hollow button to continue. Great! I've relocked you in place to help you avoid any free floating while you learn the basics. Echo Arena pits two teams against each other for control of the Echo Arena disc competing to score points by throwing the disc through the opposing team's goal. A good team balances defending their goal as well as competing for the disc to shoot goals. You can see what that looks like down below. Looks like the blue team scored a goal. After a goal, players are sent back to their spawn rooms and the countdown for the next round begins. The team with the most points when the timer elapses wins the match. Let's teach you the core skills of Arena, starting with shooting. Press the button in front of you to create a disc and throw it through the goal. Can you make three successful shots? Perfect. Two more. Fantastic! One more! Well, Realm, your shooting is almost as impressive as your button mashing. Other players will be defending the goal, so you'll need to shoot from different angles. Score two more goals from this position. Great form. One more. Good shot. 
Score one more goal from this new position. Nice work, Echo Unit. You're adapting to your new Zero-G environment very well. Now let's see how you handle playing defense. I've moved you in front of your team's goal. Defend the goal by catching the disc before it passes through the goal. Successfully defend it five times to proceed. How about from here? Fantastic! Four left. Coming at ya. You're doing great. Three left. Eyes up, Echo Unit. That's it. Two left. Firing away. Perfect. Just one left. Catch this. Well done. A good goalie is irreplaceable. However, even the best players need to know how to defend themselves. Echo Arena is, after all, a contact sport. Uh-oh, feeling a little disoriented? That blow to the head has left you stunned. Being stunned causes you to lose all momentum and temporarily disables your thrusters. But most importantly, being stunned will cause you to drop the disc if you happen to be holding it. You can stun opponents by punching them in the head. To punch, form a fist in either hand. Keep it held to activate your stun glove. That was it. Keep it activated. Perfect. Now try punching the cube set. Imagine it's an opponent's head. Nice form. Remember to aim for your opponent's head. Punching anywhere else is useless. It's like pressing buttons, but harder and with a fist. Why don't you stun a few more? Punch the remaining cube sets to proceed. That is a bit more clever. It blocked your punch, which stuns you instead. You can avoid being stunned by holding both fists near your head and holding the triggers to block. Try it now. That was it. Keep it activated. Make sure you're holding both hands up by your head and squeezing both triggers at the same time. Great! Now try blocking the cube set as it moves to hit you in the head. You can see it was stunned instead. It's important to know the right time to punch and the right time to block. For your final challenge, let's see if you can learn to react properly using the cube sets. Pay attention to whether they're blocking or attacking to determine when you should block or attack. Okay then, knock out the remaining CubeSats. Don't give up. Almost there. That was the last one. Fantastic. You've completed the simulation. Well done. I'll return you to the lobby now.